Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> yes, thank you, Sully. Hello, this is Dave Blair. Can I help you? Hi, Dave. How are you doing this morning? Is, is, it, is it this Dave, the guy that's been my wife? Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me? Dave, have, are you the guy that's been boning my wife? Um, what? Let me ask you something. This is Dave. You work. Is that correct? I'm yeah, calling you at work right now. Look, I've yeah, had you this? followed, man. You've been seeing my wife. And let me just tell you this. You stay away from her or I'll have your dick ripped off. I'm sorry. Who is this? Hey, never mind. This, I'll tell you who this is. This is Karen's husband. Um, you're Karen's husband? Yes, sir. And you had better stay away from my wife. I've had suspicions that she's been cheating on me with someone, and you're the little weasel that's been doing it. You're Karen's husband. Yes, sir. And you're the loser that's been boning my wife. How many times have you done my wife? Like four. You screwed my wife four times? Yeah. You're Karen's husband? Yes. You screwed my wife four times? You little... Hey, man, look, look, I'm sorry. You little I sucker. I didn't know I'll tell you married. what, if I get my hands on you, you better watch your step, you loser. I, what do you mean I'm you really... didn't know she... What do you mean she, you didn't know she was married? I didn't know she was the married. The ring on her finger wasn't a giveaway? She wasn't wearing a ring. Listen, Dave, I've got some advice for you. Stay away from married women, all right? Because you won't know what's going to hit you next. And Dave, another word of advice for you? Yeah. Turn on your radio. It's Lamont and Tonelli on 92 KSJO. It's Dirty Friday. Weasel and the boys set you up. You're on the air. <laughs> Son of a bitch! You <laughs> Holy! <laughs> that is shitting him. Oh, yeah, yeah. The sensor. Just sitting there at home. <laughs> what just what he said. I was just sitting, sitting there, <laughs> minding my own business. When you call, <laughs> Sully, yes. mark that one down for a highlight. Right. That could be on the next CD. <laughs> you just, talk about a guy. He was just there, sitting in his pants. <laughs> Oh, man. Where else are you going to sit but in your pants? <laughs> That's what Dirty Friday is all about. Oh, that was absolutely beautiful. Oh, did you hear that guy? A little bit nervous or what? <laughs> oh, that was great. Not so funny now, is it, Dave? Raymond Stiggin Burnin', you ladies' man. His worst fear is realized. <laughs> Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Jamie. Please. Yeah, this is Jamie. Hi, Jamie. How you doing? I'm calling from uh, Northwest Airlines uh, concerning your luggage. Yes, thank God. Uh, Jamie. Oh, thank you for calling. I was beginning to get real nervous. Yeah, well, that is why I'm calling Jamie. It seems that uh, we've got a problem with the bags that have gone missing. Kind of a problem. We have no idea where they are. What do you mean you have no idea where they are? Well, f first off, sir... Well, I know you'll... The, first off, sir, they, they they didn't really have identification tags on, sell, as no, you, no, no. you told us yesterday. No, every every bag had a had an ID, you know, one of those ring things on the top. Well, I, All I have, of them. I have no idea. I had, I had the bag for like 20 years. Jamie, I have no idea what happened to your bags and your family's bags. Um, what do I do? What do you, what, what do, you do now? Well, it, it may show up a little well, later on today. We're, we're like trying to trace where the luggage went. Okay. And uh, we have a feeling it may have been put on a different plane. A different and it, it may have been sent somewhere else. But we're still trying to identify the There's bags at the other airports. Now, can you, can you at least give me a description again, again of the bags? I, uh, I'm, supposed to leave, I'm supposed to leave today on another flight on your airline to finish our family trip that we just started two days ago trying to get out of the Midwest and get to Hawaii for a thing we've planned for six months. I'm not gonna, you Jamie, have it. Jamie, if, if we find the bags, we will forward them to Hawaii. We had like ten bags. I can't remember what they all look like again right now. Forward. The well, bags. you're not making this easy, sir, to help find your bags. Okay, what, what, what do I? Okay, if you can't find them, what, what yeah, compensation well, do I get? Do you give me money? What, what, what can I do? I well, got all my there is, stuff, there is a little stipend. I understand that. And we will give a little stipend until we find the bags. Now, now let me, ask, sir. 
We have a few bags down here, but I'm not sure if they match the description of the ones you gave. Okay, well, do I need to come down there? or what? Well, what do sir, I need to do? can you describe one of the bags? What does it look like? Um, what does your bag look like? It's blue. It has like a maroon trim. Um, now, we have, one that looks, we have one that looks like that here. Do we have your permission to open it up? It's got no ID tag on it. We may be able to, this may be your bag. Oh, yeah. Okay, can I open I it up? Down there can I open fine. it up right now for you, sir, and we can identify it? And if that's the case, I can call off the search. Yeah, that's throughout the, okay, ahead, thank you very much. Let me just open this up, okay? Here, okay? okay now, Jamie, um, yeah. who is this? My, my name is Harry Paratesi, he's calling from Northwest. Now, Jamie, let me ask you this. Is um, in, in, in the bag, in yeah. the bag, do you have a jar of KY jelly and uh, a 13-inch uh, dildo? What the hell are you talking about? I'm trying to identify if this is your bag. No, it's not my bag. <laughs> There's no vibrator in your bag, sir? Who is this? It's not my bag. Sir, maybe maybe this is not your bag. I'll tell you what it is, though. It, sir, is our bag. It's Lamont Tonelli calling from KSJO Radio. You're on the radio. It's Dirty Friday. Your brother and sister-in-law set you up. Set me up for what? You're on the radio. <laughs> yeah, you're on the radio. We're a Bay Area radio station. They're dicking Welcoming with you. you to the Bay Area. They're dicking with you. It's but Dirty like this, Friday. Like, this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the radio. Say hi to your brother and, brother and sister-in-law. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Great. We still have no idea where your bag yeah, is. They, they, they faxed us early this morning, and actually, they, they faxed us uh, last night. We had the fax when we came in and said that you had some luggage problems coming into town, and they wanted us to dick with you this morning. What's the point? That's just stupid. <laughs> you okay. sure you haven't got a vibrator in your bag? Bye. Oh, he's not fun. I didn't think it's funny whatsoever. Welcome to the Bay Area. Have a nice day. <laughs> Have a good trip to Hawaii. Man, that guy's got a bad attitude. <laughs> I'm glad we dinged him. Well, I hope he gets his luggage, really, in all honesty. Not me. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Julie. Please. That's me. Hi, uh, Julie. This is Bob Cumstein calling from Cumstein & Cumstein, uh, the uh, lawyer representing your brother, Bob. What? Yes. Um, Wait a minute. Is it, is it possible, ma'am, to, uh, to get together and... Uh, I don't together with anybody we've already figured all this out what is what is going on here what the hell has he told you julie julie it seems your brother bob has a dispute over the way things were split up on the estate pig. That, you know this is so goddamn disgusting that jerk has been down in la he's just been what does he want now well he, I mean, he's already gotten he's gotten the car he's gotten you know, I mean, my mother's hardly even warm in the grave. I, I'm, just, I'm spitting nails here. What the hell does he want? Well, your, your brother would like a, a list of the possessions that you received, and he's going to list I the possessions he received. I didn't anything at all. All I got was the dishes, the girly dishes. He took everything. Why don't I get a list from him about all he's received? He took everything that my father had. He took all the gun collection. He took the car. He took, he took all his medals from the war. What else does he want? Well, what, what he'd like to do is... That's is is get together and take a look at the possessions that you have and the possessions that he it has. Like you're gloating over this. How much is he paying you? God damn it. I mean, I've been taking care of her. I mean, I moved. I moved a block away. He's just like running around having a great time in L.A. I've been taking care of her right up to the very end. What does he want? Does he want, a, does he want the bed can from her, too? I can't believe this. Ma'am, I... ma ma'am, ma he, he wants to take a look and have a fair and equitable split well, of all the possessions. Him. The entire house? Ma'am, ma'am. If if you took all the tools, craftsman tools. You know how much those well, are you worth? Were, he you, took everything. So, he took my my freaking yearbook. So if he just like makes these rating rooms on the house, I can't believe this. So ma'am, you re so you've received the house then according to the what settlement. Is he hiring a lawyer for? Well what we'd like to do then is sell the house and split the money from from the home. We both get half. I mean, he's already gotten more than half. What am I going to do with some dishes? All it'll take is one earthquake. I don't like dishes any... God damn, he's such a pig. Ma'am, ma I just take a how deep much, breath how here. How much are you making off all of this? What are you, like some $450 an hour pig lawyer? God damn. My, my, my salary has nothing to do I with reaching a fair and equitable... No, screw him. And I don't have money for a lawyer either. Well, ma'am, ma'am, you may need it because we're gonna we're gonna have uh, an arbitration here. What we'd like to do is we'd like to sell the home, and and then Who's make a. Who's we? Do I have any part of this? 
Well, he's part owner of the home, is that correct? I don't know. What's he screwing with the, the will now, too? Excuse me, ma'am, ma'am. Now, is, am I correct in assuming that you and your brother were both executors of the state? Yes, but he's not doing a goddamn thing. Every time I call him, he's busy, he's gone. Well, he's that's what I'm for. Ma'am, that, ma'am, that's what I'm for. What are you for? That's what I'm for. I'm representing your brother. Yeah, but that's unfair. You're on his side. Ma'am, we'll split, we'll sell the home, we'll split the proceeds, and he'd also like the dishes. I'm going to throw the dishes at his freaking head. God damn it. Just... Ju 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 Julie, I... let, 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 let me just say this. You know your... what? I don't have time for this. Your, your husband, Ron? What? Your husband, Ron? Oh, he, what he else has he told you? Now also... we do it? How often do you do it? Julie, your husband Ron said to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO Radio. It's Dirty Friday. God damn it. Your husband. Oh. <laughs> now, I will say this. Uh oh, Ron, you got some explaining to do again. <laughs> Ron, Ron, <laughs> Ron you, you may have you may have a tough time when you make it. I told you, Ron, that we might not have wanted to do that call. Uh, there we go. Okay. Hello? Good morning. I called about the ad in the paper. I was telling baby? Yes, Beanie Baby. You telling Beanie Baby? Yes. And what's your name? Ashana. Hi, Shana. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm going to go to Miami Tang. I'm looking to buy the baby. Excuse me? I'm looking to buy some baby. Okay. And what kind would you like? I'd like to tell you about, uh, you got to tell me about three year old? Three years old? Three year old baby, yeah. Um,. Well, we have some that are retired. Um, actually, we have... Uh, retired? Of, they're sounding way too old. Retire. Well, f when they're three years old, that's probably, you know, some that are that are retired. So, uh, is that what you're interested what in? What do you mean, Greyhound, retire? I don't know what you mean. What you got there? Well, we have um, Peace the Bear. That's Peace probably bear. what would be good for you. Peace the Bear. Yeah. Peace the Bear. Excuse me? Peace. I like the name Pete. <laughs> Are you familiar with Beanie Babies? Uh, Beanie Babies, yeah, my wife wants baby. Excuse me? My wife wants baby. Okay, well, we have many Beanie Babies here for you to choose. Now, do we have to have sex to our baby? Excuse me? Do we have sex to our baby? I'm sorry, I'm having trouble understanding. Do I have sex with you or do I talk about Some of the newer babies, I'll let you know. Okay, okay. some of the newer babies that we have are, are, are Tuffy and Bruno. A Tuffy and Bruno? Yes. Well, that'll be boy. And boy, then we have Chip and Excuse me? I got to Chip and Pardon? And then you have who? Then we have Chip and Nip. Oh, Chip and Nip. No, I don't want no boy. Excuse me? Don't want no boy. I have a sexual girl. Oh, okay. Um, well, we have a retired... I have one retired um, one, a Princess Diana bear. Princess Diana? Was yeah. that my... Oh, I don't know. Princess Diana, I, I don't know how to sex with her. I can tackle you. Okay. How old would you like the bear to be? Well, I'd like it over 18 at least. I heard something over the younger than I get into big trouble. Excuse me? I'd like to have sex or have a baby with someone a little older. Are, are you familiar with Beanie Babies, sir? Or are we talking about Beanie Babies? I don't know any old Beanie. What kind of babies are we talking about? I'd like to have baby with you. How much you charge for? Uh, oh. Listen, if, if, if you are talking about having a, having, you selling my, babies. You have my baby. My wife can't have no baby. You have my baby. Mm, excuse me, sir. I, I'm, I, I think we're talking about two different things. I don't I sell real you. babies. I have sex with you. Are you took Whoops. She's gone. She hung up. I think you pushed her about as far as she would go. She don't want my baby. She was very pleasant, and then she had to be leaving. Thank you very much. She said, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're getting nowhere. You know, I, I don't think she got it at first. I've sex no, with you. No, obviously she didn't catch it at well, first. we bring out a turkey based up. Hello? Good morning. I call you back about your ad in the new paper advertising that baby for $100? Yes, Beanie Babies. The Beanie Baby? Well, I don't care what kind of baby we have. Sir? My wife doesn't have no baby. I thought we had baby together. $100? Sir, I am not a prostitute, okay? I'm selling stuffed animals. Oh, I can I'm give you not a gift stuffing. Sex. I'll tell you that. 
Excuse me? I'll give you a good stuffing, I'll tell you that. So, hey, so $100 for a baby? $100 for a beanie baby. Well, $100. Stuffed animals. The $100 seems quite expensive to have sex. It's, I'm not selling sex, sir. I'm selling beanie babies. $100, time. how much for a blowjob? <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, oh, she's at her wit's end. <laughs> what kind of beanie baby is that? <laughs> uh, blow bomb, baby. It's the uh, blow East Indian baby. Okay. beanie baby bludgeon. <laughs> and his friend Hanjum. <laughs> it, it's kind of like twin... It's uh, not like Aaron Bear or Peace the Bear. No. Mm, it's not that? like Nip and Chick the not, Cat. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> Blowjob and Hanjum. <laughs> Well, there's different Beanie Babies all over the world. Yeah, sure there Let's are. Let's give her a call back here and tell her she was on the air. It's like in China, they have sucked me. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. So you really are up on these Beanie Babies and, and then. And chew me. Uh, chew me? Mm-hmm. And suck me. Well, I'll have to ask her what chew me. It's like the equivalent of blowjob and hinge-up. <laughs> Hello? Look, Lee, I call you about the Beanie Baby on International Beanie Get Baby. Get lost, creep. I am, I'm, if you don't go stop calling me back, I'm going to be calling the police. We got the Japanese one, chew me? Excuse me? Do you got the Japanese one, uh, Chumi, the bean baby? A Japanese Chumi? Yeah. No, I do not. Hey, Shawnee? Shauna? Shauna? Yeah. It's Lamont Tanelli on 92.3 KSJO. <laughs> oh, my God! Your boyfriend, Joel, <laughs> said to give you a call. It's Dirty Friday. Oh, my God! I thought some kook was calling. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, Shauna? <gasps> oh, oh what a relief. <laughs> I can't believe that I was being very firm with him, and I'm so embarrassed. How much do you have my baby? Oh, God, if you ever call me again, I'm <laughs> Hold on the line, okay? <laughs> All right. Don't go away, Shauna. So bad. Oh, great Dirty Friday, 575 KSJ. If you want to sting someone, we'll do it for you on the air. The way the phones are going here, but it's not me. I'm... And this morning, it's been uh, really kind of shaky. Yeah. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for uh, Alan uh, Ball, please. This is Alan. Hi, Al. Uh, this is John uh, Wirtschen calling from the uh, Human Resources. And I'm calling in regards to your uh, workman's comp claim here. Do you guys have a check for me? No, sir. That's why I'm calling. We've had to uh, stop payment on your benefits. Now, why, why is that? Now, the doctor's turned in all the reports to work. I understand that, sir, but our uh, company doctor has indicated that your back is not injured. Now, which doctor was that? Was that? It was our company doctor. Well, what, 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 what's his name? I've seen so many doctors. Sir, it was the it was the doctor that you went to see on behalf of the company. Well, I, I don't remember what doctor that would have been, but I know that I've got I've got my doctor's report here. Well, your doctor's back back. your doctor's report. Uh, we have a conflicting report here indicating that your back is not sore. My back's not sore, sir. According according to our doctor, you um you your your back injury is not as severe as was first indicated by your doctor's report, and as a result, we're going to stop payment on your benefits. We've been paying you when we shouldn't have been. Oh, this fits. You guys, you bunch of scumbags, you're just trying to cheat me out of my money. So we're not trying to cheat you out of your money. You're drawing benefits when you shouldn't be drawing benefits. I just can't believe you guys would try to do this. I have a doctor's report here, and, and it says that my back is hurt. And, sir, we have a conflicting report from the company doctor. I just don't. I just don't believe you, bunch of jerks, that do this to me. I mean, sir, we're not doing. You guys anything. really suck. You know. What? You know, sir, we're not doing. <laughs> Boy, bad attitude's not going to get you anywhere on this one. You can't well, have we'll... a bad attitude and expect to settle a workman's <laughs> well, comp claim. We'll have to give him a call back. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Mr. Allen. Please. It is him. Allen, hi, Mr. Kumstein, calling from the uh, Human Resources again. And sir, let. Uh, uh, I don't want you to have a bad taste in your mouth. Hey, hey, I've been thinking about this, mm-hmm. but you know, I, and all this with my back being hurt, I've never talked to you, and I don't know well, which doctor sir, was your doctor. Sir, sir, you you went to see a number of doctors. Am I correct? Uh, well, absolutely, I have. The 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 doctor that we told you to go and see, you went to see our doctor. 
We, we told you what doctor to see, is that correct? We have five doctors that we operate through this company. You sent me to a number of doctors. Absolutely. And my doctors also, because I was allowed a second opinion, said my back is bad. So, sir, our, our sir, company doctor gave us a report that your back is not sore. It's not as sore as it indicated by the reports that you're giving us. Well, well you know what? You've never talked to me before, sir, because I'm in charge of fraudulent claims. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Well, you and your doctor both can lick me because the next time I think I talk to you, it'll be in court. No, sir, sir, we're paying you when we shouldn't have been paying you. And well, that'll, have to, be up to, that'll be up to a court. We're going to have to cut off your benefits, sir. You cut my benefits off and I'll sue you. No, sir, there's no reason to talk about bringing a lawyer in here. Surely we can reach an amicable, amicable decision. Hey, you're taking my options away. I can't work, and my back is hurt, and you're telling me you're not going to pay me. Sir, there's one other thing I can tell you. Every single guy at work that you work with, everyone at the, at the uh, warehouse, said to give you a call this morning. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJL. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Oh, God. Good morning. Al, good, do you have, good morning. Al, Al, do you have anything to say to the guys at work? They can all lick me, too. <laughs> <laughs> they might help your back out a little bit. <laughs> what the hell's going on in that back room? <laughs> Al, you hold on the line, okay? We'll give you a little something for, the, uh, for your back. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, don't go away. We are The Rock, 817. Redo the pool. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for uh, Jeff please. You got him. Hi, Mr. Kaplan. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, how are you, sir? I'm doing good. This is uh, March uh, Kumstein from uh, the uh, One Real Estate. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm calling in regards to a uh, problem uh, concerning the residence that you purchased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, can, can you fill me in on this? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what happened. You know, <laughs> I'm finding some uh, some leakage under the pool, you know, and it wasn't, re re wasn't revealed in the disclosure, and it's creating earth movement. And, you know, it's threatening the integrity of the pool, you know, and it really should have been revealed ahead of time. Now, now, Jeff, you, uh, the, the, the home was purchased, and I'm just going over the records here because I've kind of inherited this case, uh -huh. yeah. okay? Um, you, the, the home was purchased eight months ago, is that correct? Correct. Correct. Well, yeah, Mr. Kaplan, from what I see here, it wasn't our responsibility to reveal this in, in the disclaimer because it wasn't a problem at that time. Yeah, but I expect you guys to cover the damages. I mean, it's a new home. I just bought it eight months ago. You well, know, you yeah. guys are really, you know, really liable for that. Well, no, but from what I see, according to the records here, uh, yeah. a soil sample wasn't taken by you. Is that correct? So, so, I, I didn't do any soil sample. No, I didn't do it. I, I don't know anything about that. I didn't do a soil sample. Well, sir, all, all people know that a soil sample is supposed to be done when you purchase a home. What kind of idiot are you? You just, did, you just, did you just call me an idiot, man? Well, sir. Did you just call me an idiot? Sir, hey, soil hey, look, samples look, look, are asshole, always... Look, asshole, so, listen, if I get my hands on you, man, I'm going to rip your nuts off, okay? Yeah, look, sir, sir soil samples are part of buying a home. There are certain things that are done when you buy a home. Hey, listen, now, if you, didn't, if you didn't fulfill your end of the bargain, don't come after us and try and, and stick us with a bill. Okay, listen, man, I'm going to shove the soil up you know where, okay? The next time sir, I speak to you, you're going to speak to my lawyer, okay, sir, pal? Sir, sir, look, look there's, okay? no, look, there's no reason to say you're bringing in a lawyer here when you're at fault. Now, you can fight this all you want, but our firm, our firm... Asshole, asshole, your firm is pretty pathetic, okay? You calling me an idiot, man? <laughs> what kind of crap is this? Sir, Give sir, listen, break. sir, listen, I'm sure we can reach some kind of... of uh, of settlement here that yeah, you're is... you're going to pay. That's how the settlement we're going to reach. Sir, I'm, I'm sure we can reach some kind of agreement here where one party will do something and one of the other. But I've got to tell you, we're really... That's going above and beyond for our part because it, it wasn't revealed in the disclaimer because it wasn't there. Hey, pal, pal, you called me an idiot, man. I've never heard of a soil sample before. That's a lot of crap. Well, whoever where was... Are you coming from with this crap? Who, whoever was... Why are you making this up on the spot? Soil sample. You know, no. soil samples Give are supposed break. to... Sir, listen, I see we're not going to reach an agreement here on this. So one thing, we're... why don't you come down to my offices and we'll take care of it there. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come down, pal. I'm going to come down. I'm going to come down right now. Okay, now, Jeff, when you come down here, yeah, yeah. let me just tell you, uh -huh. you're looking for 92 KSJ. It's Lamont and Tonelli. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Wait, what, what are you talking about? Your wife sets you up. You're on the radio. You're it's di you're dirty. It's Dirty Friday, bro. <laughs> this is a joke? <laughs> your wife said to give you a call. This is a freaking joke? Say hi to your wife. 
Honey, are you there? No. Say oh, no, she's, she's listening on the, on the radio. <laughs> oh, man, I don't believe... <laughs> she said to give you a call this morning. Oh, wow. And she said this bull day. You, got, you just... guys had me going, man. I was, was going to get in the car right now. I was going to kick some butt. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, you, 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 you idiot. Hey, Jeff, Jeff, you hold on the right. line. we got a little something for you, okay? okay thanks a lot. It's 838. Hey, good luck with your pool, okay. too. All right. 838. We are The Rock, Lamont, Tonelli, Dirty Friday. We ream, we sting, we burn. Hello? Good morning, sir. This is the front desk calling. Yes? I've had a number of complaints uh, concerning the no noise from your room, sir. A number of complaints? Yes, sir. No, there's uh, absolutely no noise here, but thank you. Well, well, sir, we've had uh, people on your floor complain about the noise all night long. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, no noise. They've, they've said there's been weird sex noises coming from your room. No, no noise this year, sir. As a matter of fact, they said it sounds like you were having sex with a pig or a barnyard animal. Well, this must be a Lamont and Tonelli. <laughs> yeah, we're throwing caution to the wind and calling the big guy this morning. Yeah, once you got to the part about the sex noises of the pig. <laughs> we noticed there was no suspicion until we mentioned barnyard animals. <laughs> no, I, yeah, once you said barnyard animals, then it came, then boom. <laughs> we were thinking, well, pigs, that might be me. The barnyard <laughs> animals, that's where I draw the line. Hey, this was all Lamont's idea, Jack. <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. Jack, welcome to the Bay Area. Hey, guys, how you doing? We're doing, we're doing good, and you're on the air. Well, I figured when you were talking about barnyard animals, I was on the air. You just weren't calling to say, hey, good morning. Have a good day, Jack. Hey, did you know pigs have a penis that looks like a corkscrew? At least you bastards could have done with sending some bacon and eggs to the room. It's on its way. Take care. Have a good one, guys. Bye -bye. Just, just don't eat the sausage. <laughs> I think he likes us. I think he hates us. Bastards. He hates us. Sully, yeah. start shopping a resume around. Okay. He hates us. Well, I think if we order him breakfast, fine. Mm -hmm. But don't dick with him by order. Good morning, Papa Donnie. Lord is speaking. May I assist you? Hi. How you doing this morning? Fine. Who's... Good. Good. Hey, what, what's your name? Eduardo. Hey, Eduardo. How's it going, man? Uh, listen, this is uh, Jack calling from room, and uh, I'd like to order breakfast. Okay, may I put your hole for just a minute, please? Oh, okay, but make it quick, because I'm kind of busy. I've got, a, I've got a big meeting today. Yeah, hold on. All right, man. Okay. Now, why would he be putting you on hold? Taking another order on the other line. All right. Don't go overboard. Uh, you don't need to dick with him here, ordering him breakfast. I think if you Thank you for holding this front, speaking how may I assist you? Hey, how you doing? Good. How what happened you? to Eduardo? Eduardo is here. Okay, well, that's fine. You'll do. Hey, now, listen, uh, this is uh, Mr. Uh, calling in room 10. I'd like to order some breakfast. Sure. For how many people? Uh, well, you see, I'm having quite a few people in my room today. So I, I'd, I'd like to know, how are your melons? Uh, melons, they are good, but they are not really excellent. Because I like, I like big melons. I like to put them in my face and go... All right. So you want melons? <laughs> yes, I do. All right. One melon. How many melons can you get me? Actually, it's uh, slices of melon, cantaloupe and honeydew combination. Oh, honeydew melons. I love those big melons. Hey, let me ask you something. Eggs and bacon in the face? Have you ever had that? Which one? Eggs and bacon in the face in the morning? All right. Eggs and bacon. Yeah. Bacon and eggs in your face? So I'd like about four orders of that. All right. Okay. All right. Let's... And what are the sausages like? Okay. So your room is three then? Yes. And your last name? Uh, my last name is... Now, hey, what are the sausages like? Do you have uh, a big sausage or is it small? Uh, just a regular sausage. You got a regular one, huh? Yeah. Uh, give me a couple orders of that. How many, like, how many pieces? How many orders? Uh, I think I can handle about four. Okay, so... So the two eggs with bacon, how many orders? Uh-huh. Couple many melons, eggs? big melons. Yeah, how many, uh... How many eggs with bacon orders? Uh, about two. Two, okay. Hey, well, and and, uh, four, and con four continental breakfast. You ever have the continental breakfast? So you want the continental breakfast Yeah, also? continental, yes. How many continental breakfasts? Uh, I'd like about four of those. All right. Hey, hey, let me ask you, sir. Can we stray from the breakfast menu? Do you have fur burgers with cheese? All right, so two eggs, any style. <laughs> yeah. Scramble or wish or sunny side up? Uh-huh. Sunny side. All right. Hey, hey, hey what, what's one of your favorite things on the menu? Eggs Benedict, it's excellent. Give me a couple of those, too. Okay, two orders. Hey, now, I'm originally from England. Uh, do you have spotted dick? Say it again. Spotted dick. 
Oh, no. I think we don't have that on the menu. So no? Okay. Uh, okay, on... Uh, on hey, you know, first thing in the morning, I like to pinch a loaf. Do you have any bread? It, uh, this eggs, it comes with a sourdough toast, whole wheat, white or rye. Okay, so I don't have to pinch a loaf then. Yeah. So what type of eggs? Uh, what type of uh, the bread do you want? Uh, too late for that anyway. It comes with sourdough toast, whole wheat, white, or rye. What are, what do you like? Whole wheat. Whole wheat? Yes. Well, that makes me go poo-poo, though. All right. Yeah. This is for how many people? Oh, I'm having a room full here. I got a room full of hookers coming. How are you guys? So, so I, I... All right, anything else? No, I think that should do it. All right, so your room's street, uh, Mr. Uh, Haver? Yes. Or, uh, let's see how many people here. I should say... Eight or ten? How about that, yeah. Ten? Yeah. All right. Okay. So one melon, it's a combination of... Oh, of big ten. melons, not two. You can't have just one melon, you have to have two melons. All right. All right. So two eggs, sunny side up, with bacon. So two orders of those with two whole wheat toes. Whatever. All right. Sounds good. All right, and uh, two uh, side of sausage. Yes. And two eggs, Benedict's. Yeah, I know what I ordered. Sounds good. And uh, four continental breakfast. Yes. All right. Okay. Well, I'll see you in 45 minutes or <laughs> Okay, sounds All right, good. Then. All right, bye-bye. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> see, I love that. He told me order him breakfast. <laughs> All right, so it's it's 6.51. Come on. That was too much. So right around... Right around 7.30, he'll be getting his breakfast for 8 to 10 people. <laughs> Vice President of the company told me order him breakfast. I ordered him breakfast. <laughs> Two <laughs> huge melons, I would imagine. You're not part of this, Paul? No. <laughs> you're turning into a pussy. That's what you're turning into. No. I'm no, supporting no, you. Oh, thank you, Sully. Solidarity, my friend. Yes. But I'm washing my hands of it. <laughs> Hanging you guys out to dry. Jack was all their idea. Oh, you, well, you told me order breakfast. Order breakfast for one. Hey, Jack, uh, this is I cold. have two melons. Yes. Four plates of sausage. Uh-huh. Eleven eggs. Yeah. And pastries. Oh. $274. You, you told guys, me... Guys, guys, guys. You know, yeah. hey, Jack, I told Lamont guys, not that's to do a lot, it. that's a lot of wasted food. Jack, you told me... I said breakfast. order breakfast, you bastards. Mm-hmm. That, well, that, and I took it as, well, maybe you want a little food this morning. All right, who, who, who actually did it, please? It was, uh, that was it was myself, it Paul, was and Sully. Jack, I told him not to We're do it. We're a team. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. oh, sure. Now he's roping me into this. Great. Well, I just paid for $274 in food. Uh-huh. I don't think it's very funny. Did you tip the guy? I don't think it's very funny, guys. Jack, where's your sense of humor? You see, and, and we my went... Sense of humor, my sense of humor was at 6 o'clock this morning when you woke me. <laughs> My sense of humor is I told running him, out. Hey, Jack, I told him to draw the line. I said, now you're going overboard. We already did with him once. I told you, Lamont. Oh, what do you mean you told me? Sully, stick Fine. with me here. G guys, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> sure. Oh, he'll get yeah, over piss it. Piss off the big guy. I, I told you, what I you washed, mean, Lamont, I washed my hands out of it. I have tape. Are you Sully, going, you Sully? I'm with sticking him. with you. You said go with it. Lamont. How this morning, the, the vice president of, like, operations for our company, this guy's one of the head kahunas of the company. We thought we'd welcome him to the Bay Area. I, calling him Dirty Friday was maybe okay. Called room service, ordered, like, close you, to $300. You didn't need food. to keep dicking with him. I told you, just let it lie or lay, whatever. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Jeff. Yeah. Hi, Jeff. I'm calling from uh, BMW. Yeah, is it ready this morning? Uh, no, Jeff, that's why I'm calling you. Uh, we've had a bit of a problem, uh, with your car. It's been recalled. What do you mean? I'm calling you, and I didn't even know your car was in the shop. I'm calling from, uh, from BMW. What's your name? My name is, uh, Bill, um, uh, uh, uh Johnson. Oh, well, you know, I've been dealing with Ray on all this. My, my car's been in the shop for it's about two months now, and it's I've been dealing with You're... Ray. Do, do you know the whole story Hold behind it? Your, your car is currently in the shop? Well, Yeah. See, I had no idea. I'm calling to tell you that we're recalling uh, your car. I'm calling from BMW America. Wait, this is like corporate or something? Yes. Well, you know what? You can have the freaking car. I, I, I've had this car for three months. It's a $70,000 BMW I've had well, you, three got... months ago, and it's been in the shop for two of those three months. Well, yes, sir, you've got, a great, things... you, you've got a great car. You've got the 740. Is that correct? It's a terrible car. 
You know, I had a VW for eight years. I put 200,000 miles on it, and I, haven't, I didn't have a single problem, and I've had this car for three months with nothing but problems. So you're I'm telling, already out. I'm out 70 grand, and I've only been able to drive it for one month. So you're telling me your car is currently in the shop, and you've had it in the shop in the three months you've owned it? They're pro- putting, they approximately exhaust, two months? They, they're having problems with the exhaust. Uh-huh. Um, I have a, a sunroof that's leaking. There's a knock that they can't even determine what that is. So... Well, maybe they, it's a, they've had it now for about eight days. Maybe it's a problem with your dealership, then, sir. Well, what can you do about it? Well, what I can do is is probably why make, is it being recalled? Uh, we've we've had a problem with the engine block. Apparently, the uh, casting has caused. Uh, maybe that's where the knock is coming from. It, uh, is this being recalled for all 1998s? For the 740s, yes. I haven't heard anything about that. Well, that's I, why I'm calling. It, it, I, I'm in charge of the recall here. All right. Well, you know what? This is great because I'm so fed up with dealing with you guys that you can take the car back. Will I get full reimbursement then? No, sir. We're just replacing the parts that need to be replaced. How long is that going to take? Uh, I would say when you bring it into the shop, probably three weeks. I might as well just leave it there. You know what? I've had it with you guys. I've absolutely had it with you five. Jeff, Jeff, okay. Contain your anger, Jeff, because I've got something to tell you here. Jeff, it's Lamont Tonelli calling from KSJO. Jeff, are you there? Hello? Are you serious? Good morning. Okay, okay. Jeff, are you there? <laughs> I've had it with you fellas. Yeah, it's Dirty Friday. Jeff, you're on the air, bro. <laughs> Who put you up to this? Your wife did, Danielle. <laughs> I was really hoping that you were BMW. <laughs> you want to get rid of that thing? I'm at the end of my rope. <laughs> I want yeah, to get all that off my chest. That's, that's exactly what Danielle was telling us to sting you because you are definitely at the end of your rope. Hey, Jeff. Now I got to do it all over again. There you go. Hey, Jeff, hold on the line, okay? I think we have a little something for you. A Lamont Tinelli spooge towel. <laughs> Don't go away. All righty. Don't right. go away. It's 923. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Rhonda, please. Uh, she's not in right now. She's at work. Can I take a message? Well, who's this? Uh, this is her husband, Chad. Who's this? Hi, Chad. I'm call- This is Dr. Dixon. You're calling from uh, Good Samaritan uh, uh, Medical Labs. And I'm calling with the results of, of her pregnancy test. Congratulations. You want a boy or a girl? Um, I'm sorry. There, there must be a mistake. Um, did Rhonda come in for a checkup or a physical? Or Well, yeah, she was in about two, three weeks ago. Did your wife not tell you? My Rhonda, my wife Rhonda was in two weeks ago. Yeah, we're, we're talking about Rhonda. Rhonda. Yeah, that's her last name. That's her. There's no. My wife Rhonda is not pregnant. There's no way Rhonda's pregnant. I had a vasectomy. I had it last a year and a half ago, last summer. Well, sir, I I don't know. I mean, there's there's Rhonda Steele is. is Sir, I'm looking at. Look, uh, sir, don't don't shoot me. I'm just I'm just the messenger here. No, no, no. She, but no, I'm looking at the results right now, and you're going to be a father, sir. There's no way that Rhonda's pregnant because I had a vasectomy. I had I was tested after the vasectomy, and I know for a fact I'm shooting blanks. Rhonda is. <sighs> sir. Oh, that bitch. Sir, are you all right? Oh, that bitch! Oh, she's cheating on me. No, sir, sir. Now, may- maybe, maybe there's there's some other explanation for this. Oh, that bitch! Payday. Oh man, a bit of a psycho. Payday. Yeah, interesting payday. Oh man. I'm not okay, waiting around for that call- check on payday. <laughs> we've got to call him back. Not if he's going to deliver it like that. We we've got to call him back and tell him, hey, don't worry. You were on the air. Your he's wife just dicked that, around with he's you. He's got that paycheck balled up into a fist. <laughs> that was beautiful. I think he was breaking down. Yeah, it sounded like it. Hello? Good morning. Uh, is this uh, Chad again? Yes, it is. Hi, Chad. I'm calling. Uh, I called earlier on about Rhonda and her pregnancy test. This is Dr. Zinia calling from uh, Good Samaritan Medical Labs. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, I already have all the, all the information I need, and I'm just trying to get in touch with my wife right now. And I'm just... I mean, I, I don't know if you need to check something there, the test, but there's just no way that she's pregnant. And if she is... No, sir, well, what, do, what do you mean there's no way she's pregnant? I had a vasectomy last summer. It's been a year and a half, and I've had tests. And I'm, there's no question that it certainly is not my child. I'm, I'm definitely shooting blanks. It's, there's no way. 
And I don't know what you needed to verify, but it's not, no way Rhonda is pregnant. So you think someone else rode the skin bus through Tuna Town, gave her the high hard one, planted the bone? <laughs> Who the hell is this? Chad? Chad, you think someone else gave her the big salami? Chad, this is Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJO Radio. It's Dirty Friday. You're on the air, bro. Oh, Chad? <laughs> Chad, you all right? You're kidding me. Chad, hey, you all right? You're a pretty emotional guy, Chad. You could, Chad, you tearing up? I, I know she said you had the five kids and you had the vasectomy. She just wanted to play some, have some fun with you this morning. Oh, my God. <laughs> Rhonda set this up. Yes, she did. I am going to kill her. <laughs> that bitch. Oh. oh, man. There he goes again. You guys. <laughs> Holy cow. Do you have anything to say to her? Um, that she was about two seconds away from divorce papers. Oh, oh man. Oh. Chad, you're brutal. <laughs> oh, my God. That is, you guys, well, you got me. <laughs> Chad, That's hold on the line. We have a little something for you, okay? It's a case of rubbers. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> After this experience, I'm sure as hell going to double up on that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away, all right? Age 17. Hello? Good morning is... Please. Uh, this is Julie. Hi, Julie. How are you? Uh, my name is Mitch Kumstein. And uh, I met you on uh, Saturday night. Uh, where? At the Exotic Erotic Ball. Excuse me? I met you on Saturday night at the Exotic Erotic Ball. Uh, I was talking to your friend Karen, and she gave me your number. She said to give you a call sometime. She said you're oh, interested in me. Um, no, I, I'm, I think she's... Uh, I'm going to kill her. Um, no, actually, I'm not. I'm not interested, and I talk to a lot of people, and I'm not sure who you are. Well, hold on. Um, I'll, I'll tell you who I, I am. Maybe you remember me. I was wearing the leather chaps with my... Hanging out, and I also had a leash that okay. was that was wrapped tight around my. Okay, you know what? Um, I'm not interested. So can you just not call me anymore? Okay, thanks, Julie. Okay. I'm interested in you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she doesn't want to get freaky with it. <laughs> Sully, yes. Do we have that on tape? What Lamont was wearing? <laughs> we'll get a lot of mileage out of that one. Yes. To the oh man. Hello, this is Kent. Good morning. I'm looking for, I guess, Kent. And this is he. Hi, Kent. Uh, listen, I called your 800 number earlier on that uh, that is on the trucks, and they forwarded me to you. They said you're the guy to talk to. Uh, yes. You, you have those 800 numbers on the truck. Uh, how am I driving? Yeah, and we hope we're driving well. Well, no, I've got it. I am. I am very pissed this morning. Okay. Uh, what can I help you with? I was driving down the road, and one of your trucks cut me off. And then it sped up, it slowed down, I tried passing it, it cut me off again. It was like well, a game of cat and mouse on the freeway with this dick who was driving in your truck. Wow, um, well, uh, did you get the truck number? Yes, I did, but sir, let me tell you something. Is this the kind of thing that you have on the roadways? Uh, uh, it's no, very sir. unsafe on the roadways with, with big machines like that. Well, I was no. driving my family down the road, man. Well, well sir, I, I mean, I, I understand, but I mean, it's company policy. We try to hire the best drivers we can get. Well, what a crock that is with this goofball on the, on the roadway today. Well, can, can you tell me the truck number, sir? Oh, I took the truck number, all right. It was number 271. But let me tell you. Let me just finish telling you what happened here. So okay. I, this guy cuts me off. Right. And I was going the speed limit. Okay. Okay. And I thought trucks were supposed to go a little slower, and they weren't even supposed to be in this lane. So this, he wasn't this, in the right lane. He wasn't in the right lane. Okay. He got over in the wrong lane. Then he cut me off. Okay. And then he slows down. Right. No reason whatsoever. No one's in front of him. So I try and pass him again. He swerves into my lane. He's playing like cat and mouse with me. Oh. So finally, I get beside the truck, and it, I look over, and your truck driver, whoever the dick is who's driving this machine, yes. is spanking his monkey, looking down at me. I've got myself there. I've got my wife, and this guy's spanking his monkey, looking at me and my wife. Um... Oh, oh my God! I'm 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 terribly sorry. I mean that that doesn't fall along the lines of company policy. Well, I should yeah, hope not. I mean, I mean, I'll definitely try to take care of this. Can Can you hold on a second? Sure. Hey, Ted, who's driving uh, truck number two seven one? Ronnie. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know who's driving the truck. Um, I, I mean, I'll completely investigate this. Can Can I have your name and your number? Oh, you sure can. Let me just tell you this: if this is what your company, my wife is shocked right now. 
Do you want me to talk to her? Oh, I'd like you to talk to her, all right. She's very shocked. This guy, Schwantz, is bigger than mine. It's Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJO. You're on the radio. Kent, it's Dirty Friday. Oh, my God. The guys in your <laughs> office said to give you a call this morning. All your, oh, all your drivers. Bastards. <laughs> oh, you guys scared the shit. Hey, oh, okay. the sensor got him. Hold on. All right. He's got him up like a truck driver. Too bad we had to flush him. I wanted to ask him a question. <laughs> what do you want to ask him? I wanted to ask him why he didn't seem absolutely, unbelievably, completely <laughs> shocked that it was, it was a 271. driver of 271 who was Ronnie. doing this.